and welcome to this installment of A Shepherd's View. I had something really strike me the other, uh, well, this past weekend, rather, while listening to a podcast uh, by Dan Allender and Rachel Chin from the Allender Center. It has to do with how we look ahead at 2021. Uh, we've been around the sun one more time, 365 and one quarter days, and it gives us pause to look down the road at the next trip. <laughs> the next trip around, what will it bring? Hmm. Well, in that podcast, he made reference to us being like in a tornado or a hurricane and emerging up out of that and what we see and, and stuff. Well, uh, that really got me to thinking, and I have lived in both places. I've lived uh, with tornadoes, and I've lived with hurricanes. So I've gotten the best of both worlds, if you will. I remember as a nine-year-old child, al almost ten, nine and a half, I guess, I still hold images in my mind of the 1965 Palm Sunday tornado outbreak. I know that over 100 people, I think it was somewhere around 140 people, but I know it was over 100 people in our county alone that died, were killed in that uh, terrible event. Um, the one that touched down in our particular area was would have been considered on today's scale an F5, which is the most powerful of tornadoes. It was at times three quarters of a mile wide. At other times, it was two tails coming down. It was a huge tornado. It was on the ground for 53 miles. Uh, imagine that. Um, that particular day, that particular Palm Sunday day, uh, the tornado outbreaks uh, that happened that day is one of the top two in recorded history stretched across seven states. Um, when we talk about it, uh, family and friends and so on talk about it that we're living during that time. Uh, that particular Sunday, just mentioned Palm Sunday 65. Go on, Google it, you're welcome to do that. Um, that one was known as the Big Kahuna. I mean, we've not had anything before or since in our memories of that day. Well. As we emerge from this crisis, it's kind of like crawling out of a storm shelter or out of the basement. Uh, you have no idea what you will find. Everything in your area, may, it all may still be intact. Uh, it was amazing for us. Uh, we were about a half mile or so from neighbors that were totally wiped out. Um, if I remember correctly, we had very, very little damage, maybe a branch or a limb here or there. I don't know. You may emerge from this crisis that we're in right now totally unscathed, and yet your neighbor uh, may have been totally obliterated through it. It's a time of wonderment. I think as we assess this time, it'll be a time as, we, as people crawl out of the storm shelters, crawl out of the, <laughs> come out of their basements or out of their dwelling places and look around. It will be a, a time of wonderment. As we look, uh, I know in a storm you look and you look around and you go, how did that get moved from there to there? Or how did everything around that particular piece blow away and it's still there? I, I don't know, there, there's just all these odd and weird things that happen during difficult times like that. What am I saying today? Well, as we come out of this viral storm, it will be very much like emerging from a hurricane or a tornado. I hope we do that this year in 2021. I'm not going to make any predictions. I refuse to do that. I don't think we know. But as we look forward and we hope for that time. I believe we're going to be amazed at some things. There will be things that will literally be untouched. There will be families that have been untouched. There will be organizations and things that will be untouched. Yet on the other side, right next to that, will be things that have been absolutely destroyed. It'll be a time of assessment. It'll be a time in how we rebuild and what we should rebuild, 
I remember on one of our properties uh, as a kid growing up, uh, Grandpa had this old barn. It was an old bank barn and really wanted to tear it down. It was kind of dangerous and for some reason just didn't get around to it. Um, <laughs> however, a windstorm one night took care of that and brought it down and, and it was, uh, was in a heap. Um, <laughs> so, eh, that worked out okay. All right, so there's going to be things out of this that we're going to look at and say, well, I'm kind of glad that I've been wanting to get rid of that for quite a while, that we're, whatever it may be. Um, remember Andrew, though? If you've lived in Florida very long, even if you didn't live in Florida, you remember Hurricane Andrew. I don't know if you realize this, but there is not a structure built in the state of Florida today that was not impacted by Hurricane Andrew. What happened after Andrew was a gigantic reassessment on how things are built, specifications, and what needs to be done with it. Katrina has also contributed to that. So there will be some reassessing, a reassessing in how we handle things, do things, and how things are accomplished. Um, and some of those reassessments and some of those things will be very, very good and will help us in future events. And as we move into 2021, I want to encourage you to hold hope and dread, both of those, very gently. What do I mean by this? Um, it's going to be a time when we are gentle and loving both to ourselves and to others. It's a time when we need to be kind. When a tornado has just blown your house away, you don't need someone standing there telling you, you know, you should have built that house across the road. No, you just need someone that's going to be there to help pick up the broken glass, the split two by fours, and the remnants of your life. You don't need anyone telling you what you should or could have done. You just need help, a kind hand, a warm heart, a cup of coffee, a meal, the basic things of life. So in closing, I um, want to mention this as well. Tornadoes, hurricanes, viruses, they're indiscriminate. Doesn't care whether, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Jew, Gentile, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, or anything, anything else. Doesn't matter. Everyone is affected. And I believe in 2021, though, what, what is there, what holds the promise of the light of Christ shining into a broken world, it will come through His body, through you and I being His hands, His feet, His voice, speaking hope and healing to a fractured world. We're all being squeezed, <laughs> all of us. But that's when the true essence of His grace shines forth through his saints. I want to close with this passage from Romans 12. It says this, Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honor giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligent, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Wow, are those not words for us today? We have hope, but we're in the middle of tribulation. Let us rejoice in hope and let us persevere and make it through. Be steadfast and patient in tribulation, continuing, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints and given to hospitality. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, do not, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. So even if let me say this, even if your enemy 
next to you gets taken out. <laughs> here's, here's what Paul says and the Bible says. Quite frankly, God, Jesus, all of them said this. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. May that be our guiding light this new year, 2021. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we look to you. This is our prayer today, that we will be kindly, affectionate, caring, loving one another. Father, my prayer today is that we indeed will emerge from our shelters, emerge out of this. I pray that uh, this time next year, if this earth is still circling the sun, that we will be on the other side of what we're experiencing today. That hope will be realized. Father, in the meantime, may we be kindly affectionate to one another. May we love one another. And even when our next door neighbor may not see eye to eye with us, may we still reach out a hand in hospitality and care and love. We need each other. Help us to be gentle and caring in this very difficult time. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.